Well, what, what else comes with the flu and a cold? Snot. Mm -hmm. Better known as mucus, and as an ear, nose, and throat specialist, I get it all the time. I have all of that post-nasal drip, drip. Do you realize that you produce one to two quarts of mucus every day? Quarts. Quarts. Wow. Quarts. So these little cells in, in your mucosa that lines your sinuses, your nose, your airway, are these little cells, goblet cells, that produce mucus. And when a virus invades those cells, what happens? Two things. You make more mucus, and, you, and the mucus is very, very thick. And then what happens once this, this mucus forms, because of gravity, it's going to pass down your neck and so-called post-nasal drip, right? But we have some solutions here, right? And actually, there, there are some at-home things that you can do. First thing you want to do is just a, a gravity posture thing. Use a little wedge pillow like this so you sleep propped up, right? Okay. Yeah. Put this behind <clears throat> you, which is going to help with post-nasal drip. And number two, I know this sounds like a little weird, but using apple cider vinegar. Where are you, you using it? You actually, <laughs> <laughs> actually you pour a little bit on the pillow. Oh, okay. And it actually forms vapors, and this is a, a natural mucolytic. Hmm. It loosens up the mucus and, uh, and helps really? you out there. So do you <laughs> pull out the cheap sheets for that? <laughs> Get him in and imagine that smells good. I actually have never tried it myself, but <laughs> they say that, uh, that it may work.